Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com and today we're going to be talking about Lockman watches. There they are. Lockman is celebrating its 30th anniversary this year. Uh, Lockman is a brand that if you're into watches, you may know them, you may have heard of them. Uh, in the 80s and 90s, they were very big in this country. Uh, it's an Italian brand, uh, th thus the Italy on the booklet that I showed you. Uh, they're all made in Italy. Uh, it's an Italian brand and I would say, you know, 10 or 15 years ago, the, it kind of took a hiatus from the USA, became extremely popular in Italy and Europe. Um, there's several hundred stores carrying them in Italy. Uh, it's kind of a national brand. Uh, but it kind of got lost in the USA, and, you know, about a year or two ago, they tried to make a, a reintroduction to the U.S. market, and we were very happy that uh, we were able to carry the brand. Uh, it's certainly a different brand as far as... Uh, what Island Watch, you know, usually carries. You know, I, I generally tell people that we are uh, function over form, uh, you know, or function over fashion. But a lot of these are pretty cool fashion, and the the insides are just, you know, nothing absolutely spectacular. But on the outside, they are just gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. And I feel that, you know, the engineering that's that's made in the in the uh, in the cases, you know, kind of the fashion aspect. Uh, you know, kind of does echo with the customer. Uh, a lot of these are enamel dials, which is something that usually do not see um, in an affordable watch. And all these are, I believe, uh, yeah, I think all of them are under a thousand. So I'm going to start, you know, with a basic. Uh, in my in my hand is uh, part of the 1960s collection. This is a three-handed, uh, excuse me, a two-handed quartz watch uh, in a rose gold case. It comes in a number of diff different executions. If you want the size specs, it's going to come in at, let's see, around 40 millimeters in diameter. It is 10 millimeters thick. And that tip to tip dimension that you guys ask for so much is about 50 millimeters. So again, this is a two handed quartz watch, rose gold plate. It's part of the 1960s collection. It comes on this nice, uh, you know, crocodile grained leather strap, and it's got the matching rose gold buckle. Just a simple dress watch, but if you can, if I get the camera in there, and you can see that dial. The dial is glossy, and it's an enamel dial. The applied Lockman name, Italy. It looks awesome. Such a great watch. You know, like I said, these come in many different, uh, many different executions, different dial colors, different case colors, different straps, mesh bracelets, uh, the whole nine yards. So Lockman comes from Italy, as I said, and it comes from the Tuscany region. The island of Elba is where Lockman uh, calls themselves at home. Uh, they have a watchmaking school, the SIO, and figures the hour hand covers it. But these automatic watches will have SIO written. Um, on the dial, and that is the acronym uh, for their school. I won't attempt to pronounce it and murder the language. Uh, so on this one, this is the, the Monte Cristo. It's a diving watch. Uh, it's got a titanium and stainless steel case, but check out the casework. Look at that. You can see through. It's all milled out. A gorgeous watch, 44 millimeters in diameter. This is going to be, obviously it's an automatic, so the thickness is going to go up there to around 13 millimeters. And that tip to tip is again around 50. But it's kind of tough to get a tip to tip because it's an integrated strap. The strap is, uh, it has a pin that pushes through, and you know, you can get multicolored straps for it, different colors. Uh, this is on a plain black strap. Push button signed double deployment butterfly. You know, this is made in Italy, not made somewhere else, then imported, then re-exported. This is actually made in Italy in a watchmaking, you know, a watchmaking school that Lockman started. Uses a, a standard Miyota movement. There's nothing super special about it. I mean, they they sign the rotor, you know, put their own rotor on it. But you can see the back, professional diver. Uh, it's titanium and steel. And it's part of their Monte Cristo series. Screw down crown. It's a 200 meter water resistant diver. Cyclops uh, on the date. And it, this also comes in a multitude of dial colors and uh, different bezel executions, different color straps. Uh, it's a sapphire coated mineral crystal. 
So it's more scratch resistant than standard mineral. You'll see it sticks out just a little bit. And then if you look at the bezel, it's the bezel itself. It's an you know an enamel bezel, and then it's got an inlay of crystal over it, so it's not going to scratch. Applied markers, loom. Sorry, it's not that dark. It's not as dark in here as I want it to be. But sometimes you can't fight the sun, especially this time of year. So also in the Monte Cristo series, they also make them in a quartz chronograph. So it's the same same case. It's titanium and stainless steel. Now we've gone on to a gorgeous blue dial and a regular chronograph movement, just like you would expect. You know, start, stop, reset. Solid case back. You know, virtually the same design as the automatic, just now with a uh, a Swiss uh, Swiss quartz chronograph movement. They do make a mechanical chrono. I didn't bring one here um, because it goes to around sixteen hundred to seventeen hundred dollars. I wanted to try to show you everything under a thousand. Um, but again, all the same craftsmanship applied indices, enamel dial. Beautiful bezel, 120 click. Very, very good rotation of the bezel. It's secure, it's solid, it really hits it hits the marks perfectly. Extremely well done. And then leaving leaving that series, I come to this is a unique watch. It is a fully carbon fiber case and it is a 300 meter diver it's an automatic screw down crown and you'll see the case is fully carbon can you see the carbon detail the carbon fiber material screw down case back 300 meters with individual screws is something that we spoke about uh, in one of the watch and learn videos. This is one of those watches where you really can't thread the carbon fiber uh, reliably with a screw down case back so they've gone with this but you will see it's a fairly thick case back so you know those high points I talked about developing for the gasket um, won't develop and this watch is tested to 300 meters. Carbon fiber dial it's part of the stealth collection and then also on the, you know the bezel as well beautiful 120 click bezel date, you know, three-handed automatic watch, Miyota movement, rubber strap. This is also going to come in at around a similar size. Let me get my calipers out here. This is around 45, 46 millimeter. Thickness of 14 mils and then your tip to tip. This one's a little bit bigger. It's gonna be like a 56 millimeter tip to tip, so it's a large watch. But you know, being you know European, it's uh, you know bigger sometimes is is the uh, message of the day. Uh, let me just get the hands out of the way so you can read the dial markings. Again, SIO is the school uh, and and the factory where these are manufactured on the island of Elba. Um, I got some pictures on the website, even Lockman's pictures of their you know where they are in Elba. It's a beautiful place. I don't know why you'd want to actually work. Uh, you'd probably just want to hang out there all day and just enjoy the sun. And I'm going to finish it up with another cool piece of engineering. Uh, this is the Toscano, the mother of pearl inlay on the dial. This is more of a dress watch. Uh, automatic, screw down crown. It's, uh, again, the dial work is, is certainly exquisite. It is, it is there. It's really nice. The, the, the fashion, like I said, we don't usually do fashion, um, but this is really fashionable. It's really cool. Uh, but what's nifty about this watch, let me just, you know, check out the case design. Look at the lugs. The lugs are, it's a very comfortable watch to wear because the lugs curve down so deep. Uh, we're looking at tip to tip here is only 48 millimeters. It is a 41 millimeter diameter watch, and it is 11 millimeters thick. Right here now I'll turn it around you can see the movement in the sign rotor but check out the case back it's actually one solid piece this whole the entire case is solid
the movement is actually slid into the case. It's actually fit in. Uh, if you can see how this is, you know, cut out like this, it's um, you almost put it like on a caddy corner, and it is fit into the. It's fit in, so it's more of like a uh, a solid. You know, a lot of cases are multi parts. You know, maybe a four part case or a five part case. This is, I believe, just a two part case, the front and the back. I will put all these watches on. You can see how they look on my, <clears throat> excuse me, on my six and three quarter inch wrist. Uh, you will notice something that I just you know, looked at. I forgot to mention. On this watch, they put these bars right here, and it helps the strap, you know, conform nicely around your wrist. See, so it doesn't go all the way down. It's a neat little uh, accomplishment. Okay, so I'm going to put each one on. You can see how they look on my, you know, kind of smallish wrist, but get an idea of uh, how, how they would look on yours if your wrist is bigger and or smaller. Um, I already know that some of them would be too big for me, but we'll do it anyway. So hang on one second. So we're going to start with the 1960s collection Lockman. Looks great on my wrist. Very comfortable. Uh, what I really like about this one is that the strap is actually a 115 by 75. Uh, so, you know, those of you that, you know, you put a strap on, you know, you put the watch on and the strap, you know, you can wrap it around your wrist 14 times. This one is actually uh, not that bad. So on my six and three quarter inch wrist, I still got another inch or so to go. So it's fine, but the tail isn't, you know, way too long. Next up is the Monte Cristo. I have 44 millimeter case with those kind of skeleton lugs. It actually still fits me. It's not too big. It's just got style. It's got, you know, it's got presence, let's say, wrist presence. It's a great looking watch. It really catches the light nice. Next up is my favorite because of the color. I love the blue. This also comes in auto within this blue. We're out of it at the moment, but it is such a, a beautiful blue. It's mesmerizing. It's very, it's deep. It's sunburst, it's reflective, uh, but as far as the fit, the fit's the same as the auto I just had on. It's the same case. You see, that's what I use to take up the slack. It's like a red rubber clown nose. I don't know, I stole it from my kids. Oh, and there it goes. But anyway, still fits nice. I would still wear it, and especially because it's blue. Next up is that 300 meter stealth watch with the carbon fiber case. Probably getting to the top of what I can wear comfortably, or what I should be wearing comfortably. Okay, again, with the lugs though, it still, still kind of curves down a bit, but getting too big for me. Uh, it's got this great perforated rubber strap. You see the carbon fiber, the weave on the dial? And that actually is carbon fibers woven at 90 degree angles to each other. If you know your carbon fibers and uh, your, your 0 90 layups. You know, we started with one that fits great, the 1960 one. And we'll finish up with the Toscano, another watch that fits great. Very comfortable. Like I said, the lugs, the lugs curve down extremely far. Hugs the wrist. For a, a men's fashion watch, this is about as fashionable as I would get. I really like it. It's cool. The pearl is really nice. Not really a Mother of Pearl fan either, but I think they did a good job on it. So this has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com showing you the Lockman brand of watches. If you like this video, please like it now. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please do so at this time. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please put them down below. I will leave links to the products um, down below in the comment section. Uh, so I, I know everybody always asks price, so you'll be able to look at the items and see what the prices are. Like I said, all of these are going to be uh, under a thousand bucks. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.